Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight world? It's your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on two big dogs in this fight game and arguably the greatest fight of all time. We have Javante Tank Davis, that killer, that gorilla from Baltimore, the undefeated three-division world champion. We all know Tank is arguably the face of boxing. Then we got Tiafimo Lopez, the two-division world champion. He's now the current WBO super lightweight world champion after defeating Josh Taylor. And then we have Floyd Money Mayweather, arguably the greatest fight of all time. The five division world champion, the man that helped revolutionize the boxing game. And we all know Floyd, you know, made a billion dollars and just he the man. But Floyd Money Mayweather came out and said that he wanted Javante Tank Davis to fight Tiafimo Lopez. I don't know if y'all remember that. It wasn't too long ago. I think maybe y'all remember, maybe some of y'all don't. But go ahead and do your Google research and you'll see that Floyd Money Mayweather Want Javante Tank Davis to fight Tiafimo Lopez. And it just shows you that Floyd do have an eye for big-time fights. You understand? He do have an eye for big-time fights. And he felt like Tank could knock T.O. smooth the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? He felt like Tank could get in there and do his thing with Tiafimo Lopez. And, you know, take him on out and, and take that thunder from T.O. And, you know, put on in another, another big-time pay-per-view event. That, you know, go out there and sell. And I got to say this. I got to admit, I kind of like the fight, bro. I kind of like the fight. Tiffy Lopez just went on against Josh Taylor and showed that he is still a bad motherfucker, yo. Now, y'all know my disdain for T.O. and his daddy, the way sometimes how they act, sometimes the way they talk, right? Sometimes they get delusional. Like T.O. talking about he's a two-time undisputed world champion. Dude, stop it, T.O. Now, that's a good win. You're going to beat Josh Taylor. We all know Josh Taylor was off for a little minute. Right? He only had one scrap. And, you know, you got the lineal and things of that nature. But don't don't try to make it bigger than what it is. Like, it's big and, and you, you deserve to enjoy it. But don't try to come out and just overdo it, bro. But you, T.O., still got a hell of a skill set. Still a bad boy. Bounce back. Just did something spectacular. And people got to give you your just doing your credit, bro. They got to give you just doing your credit. And I'm going to give it. One thing about me, I give credit where credit is due. Period. I don't give a damn how nobody feel about it. I don't care who the individual is or none of that, right? But Javante Tank Davis versus Tiafimo Lopez, right? Would it have to be at 140? We'll have to see, you know? But Javante Tank Davis versus Tiafimo Lopez is one hell of a fight. Now, we all know Tank just knocked out Ryan Garcia in the seven round. In seven rounds, you know, to put himself in position to be the face of boxing. We know they did 1.4 million view pay-per-view buys. Um, and we all know the situation with Tank right now being incarcerated because of a judge, you know, is jealous of the kid for being super rich. And, you know, he obeyed what she wanted, but then she made it out to be something different. But now, though, with Javante Tank Davis, bro, in position, you know, to face T.O., Devin, um, anybody at 140, and anybody at 135. So that just shows you the range that Tank got, you know, to build his legacy, man. You know what I'm saying? Javante Tank Davis has options, man. And not just regular options. He has big-time options, bro. Big-time options. To go out there and put himself as an all-time great in this fight game, bro. Because if that says, think about it. If Tank beat Shakur Steves and Devin Haney, Tiafimo Lopez, and continue to just grow his legacy off them names, bro, like that, man, come on now. Come on now. But this will be one hell of a fight, man. Javante Tank Davis versus Tiafimo Lopez will be one hell of a fight because T.O. got some pop. T.O. got a skill set um, that's that's awkward. You know what I'm saying? And you'll have to be on your shit. You feel me? Now, his defense is not up to par, but last night he showed me some good defense, man. He showed me some good defense. He took some shots, but at the same time, um, he gave it, man. He gave it. Andy made Josh Taylor miss, and he made him pay. You know, caught him with some big shots, things of that nature. Well, I thought if he'd have pushed the pace in that 12th, he probably could have dropped Josh Taylor or stopped him, bro. But I seen that he fatigued a little bit as well. T.O. fatigued a little bit as well. But he got a high IQ. That's something that I seen in T.O. He got a high IQ, you know? Now, when I look at Tank, just overall, Tank can do it all. You feel me? Tank can do it all. T.O. tried to be more active. I think Tank legs a little better. Tank power is better. And um, I think Tank IQ is better as well. You feel me? But it will be a, a, a fucking hell of a fight, fam. Javante Davis versus Tiffimo Lopez is action-packed. That's action-packed, bro. You feel me? But the thing is, um, where would it be? 
Where would it be, man? 135, 140, in between. This shit would be a great one. It would be a great I know a lot of people be like, well, man, Tank didn't want to fight this fighter up there. He didn't want to fight this fighter. He want to do this. We don't know what Tank could do. But all I'm saying is get to the negotiation table. If they can negotiate this fight, it don't have to be next, right? Because, you know, Tank want to get out and, you know, he probably got some things that he want to do that he still feel like he want to achieve. Um, T.O. just got one scrap at 140. Who knows what he want to do up there? Um, he said some things where he want to retire or something like that, which that shit ain't happening, bro. That dude is staying in the game. He's staying in the game too young with too much money. Now he got some thunder back, and he go take advantage of that. But this fight, bro, is one for the ages, man. This fight is a damn good fight, bro. You know what I mean? Now, I still want to see Tank versus Devin Haney next. I feel like if they go be at 135, Tank should go ahead and try to be undisputed. And then if you can whoop Devin, drop the titles. You ain't got to keep the titles. You can drop them bitches right off the bat. You know what I'm saying? You can drop them right off the bat. But you and Devin at 135 is a hell of a fight. One hell of a fight. Now, it comes down to do Devin want to go up to 140? Because we seen Devin and Tiafimo, well, sorry, we seen Bill Haney and Tiafimo Daddy, Tiafimo Senior, they was talking a little shit, going back and forth, popping off to where, who knows, Devin might go to 140 and might, you know, get a fight with Tiafimo. You never know. You never know what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? Devin got options as well to where he's undisputed. He can go up and be a mandatory for either one of them titles. You feel me? So let's just see how he want to play that and, and how they go about things. And then when I'm looking at Tank, like Tank is just, the, he got the it factor. Any, if, if people got fights lined up, they would drop those fights to come and fight Javante Tank Davis. That's just a fact. You feel me? So if T.O. got a fight lined up with somebody, he'll drop that shit for Tank. Devin will drop his shit for Tank. Um, Shakur will drop his shit for Tank. Matias, uh, Roley, everybody will drop everything to fight Javante Tank Davis because Tank is that guy. They know Tank holds the it factor where you go get paid. And, you know, if you beat him, you 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 become an instant superstar in the game. Tank got that position now. The Canelo status, the Floyd Mayweather status, the Oscar De La Hoya status, Sugar Ray Leonard status. Tank is on that level right now. He's on that level right now. That's why you got to get out here and continue doing what he's doing. And don't fuck it off. You know what I'm saying? But keep working his ass off and be that dude. Whoop their ass, take names later. You understand? Now, y'all know me. I'm riding with Tank 120% over everybody. You feel me? But I know him and T.O. would be a hell of a fight. I wanted that fight at 135. You know what I mean? When they were talking about the four kings. Tank, Ryan, T.O., and Devin. So I wanted Tank to fight Ryan Garcia because, you know, they had the little history with one another. Then I wanted T.O. and Devin to get in there and they take on each other. And then the winner face off with one another. Because I, I had T.O. beating Devin and I had Tank beating Ryan. And I knew T.O. and Tank, you know, was going to be the last two men standing. And that was going to be one hell of a fight, bro. One hell of a fight that I had Tank winning by knockout. And I still got Tank winning by knockout. You understand? So that's a big time fight that I want to see, man. But let's see if we can make this thing come to fruition in the future. Because like I said, Tank still got to get up out of that hell hole, that jail hole, and come back home. And we'll see, you know, what moves he want to make. Which he could fight at 140 against the right fighter. And I think T.O. is the right fighter to fight at 140. Right? I know a lot of people go to be pissed off at that, but it is what it is. And then T.O., you know, we don't know what he want to do because we know he fit a boast and brag and act like he just the motherfucking King Joffrey Joe of the world, right? Now that he beat Josh Taylor, you understand what I'm saying? So we don't know where his head go be at. Every time they win the title, they become the goddamn emperor. They worse than goddamn George Cambosis. Well, now they become the god. George Cambosis become the empress. They become the god to where they think they did something that nobody has never done before. You feel me? So at the end of the day, let's see if these egos can go away and, you know, we can get these boys in the ring and take on one another. Because Javante Tank Davis versus Tiafima Lopez is a fucking fire fight. A fire fight. You understand? So, good luck to T.O., man. Congratulations on the win. It's a big-time win. You deserve it. Floyd, don't fuck up nothing. Don't get to talking crazy or nothing like that. But wait for Tank to get out to start negotiating things. And Tank, they need to free you, my dog. They need to free you. Come on home. Let's get to work. Let's create history. And let's go be great. Straight like that.